Let's do it professional. All right, here we go. Uh, this was a wonderful video here. I had a great time. It was like a podcast type video, the same thing we do here on the channel for our VIP members. And it was Execute from Info Runners and Hater from Star Citizen Leaks Discord talking about the new Grey Cat Industrial Rock that's leaked. A lot of you may be wondering, what's up with this animation? Is this a true leak? I think it is. I think this is going to be in the game now. While this is a nice little juicy bit of lake, uh, and it comes from the spurs of the last CitizenCon, 2019 CitizenCon, uh, when there was an event held uh, for a contest on a new vehicle. Uh, and in fact, I think, as Execute had said in this video, that the refinery one won it. So it was interesting to see that this is the mining vehicle. And I think maybe the refinery took a backseat because they don't have the mechanics down for refining yet. And, and also, you will probably see a lot more of the mechanics towards refining when the Orion starts hitting uh, the, the actual implementation phase. And they really start getting serious on the Orion. By the way, Cloud Imperium, get serious on the Orion. I, I'm really looking forward to that big-ass mining ship. Now... The Grey Cat Industrial is a smaller type of mining land vehicle. Now, let me tell you the good things about this. First off, the good things in my mind and what I got from this podcast from Execute and Hater on the Star System Leaks YouTube uh, channel that just got released, by the way, just so you guys can keep updated, is that it, they by seeing this, by seeing this going to be something that might, as recorded here or reported here, might be out within the next patch, which would be interesting, is to see that Cloud Imperium is focusing on ground-based industrial vehicles. So I, I'm really happy, I'm really positive to see like a ground-based industrialist kind of mindset. They're, they're focusing a lot more lately on industry and trade, which makes me feel like, you know, getting ready for quantum, get, getting ready for what uh, Tony Z had talked about and, and putting out this new algorithm, this new AI that I'm very, very much looking forward to. What's up, professional? Welcome to the stream, bro. Also, you guys are going to be on all the highlights talking here. I want to go over the comments. We're, we're live right now. This is going to go ship over to YouTube, my YouTube channel. But it's great seeing like your comments on that. Um, And... I really wanted to get into what you think about like a, a solo mining vehicle of this nature. I, I would like to see them larger, very much like in real life, like Caterpillar, where we see these large excavators. I want to see a much larger vehicle than this. So the, the, the negative side of this is I don't think this is going to be very effective. And because of the size of it, like this doesn't seem like something that would be a great money maker. Uh, you know, it looks like that you might be able to use the same drilling mining attachments on here as discussed again with execute and hater. Uh, it looks like that was in the data set that hater had mined or his people had mined that there were in fact, uh, like a placeholder for three different types of heads, just like we saw in the prospector or the mule. But like, as far as the SCU is concerned, I'm not quite sure this vehicle is really going to be able to hold that much. And because of that, it makes me feel like this is almost like a wasted kind of energy. I get this was done because initially this was like a contest and people got involved in ideas. And I understand that. But like I was telling Execute because because he had he had talked to me afterwards. He said, so what did you think about the rock? Which we don't know what stand what it stands for right now. But he's like, what did you think about it after you heard it? And I said, you know exactly what I'm telling you guys. I'm happy that they're focusing on ground-based industrial vehicles. There needs to be more, but I want to see them much larger than what I'm seeing here. Gray Cat is going to be like a Caterpillar, I feel like, in the real, like our, our version of Caterpillar or John Deere. They're going to make these mining type vehicles, uh, like industrial based vehicles. But I, I told, and I told Execute, I said, I would be much happier with seeing this smaller rock have like a bigger parent rock, like R-O-C-K. In the USA. R-O-C-K in the USA. Sorry, sorry. Is that a Melon Camp song? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Rocket in the USA. Birch to dance to dance to dance to No, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm getting off on another tangent. 
<laughs> uh, Buzzkiller in the chat says, might be interesting for someone with a good mothership. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like the fact that you, <laughs> I like the fact that you, Killer's thinking like I am. Like, I would love to see this like a smaller worker bee go back to like a larger hive ship, right? Or a hive land-based ship, you know? Like, where like 20 of these come out of like a larger rock, R-O-C-K, right? And then they go around, they drive around, then they, they, get, they get sucked back up into a larger type vehicle. And it would make much more sense for me to see that than what I'm just seeing, like the standalone thing. It's It pales in comparison to what my own imagination can conjure up. And that's really what I want to see. Yes, having a hive ship that, that can deploy like three moles, that would be awesome, like Cypher say. And, you know, we do get the ability on larger ships, multi-role functioning mining ships like the mole, even solo mining ships like the Prospector. We do see these flying ships, uh, you know, mining ships being able to fly. Maybe that's going to be more effective than the ground. So there has to be something that's a positive or a, or a bonus even with the ground game type mining so that is my opinion i would love to hear what you guys have to say in the highlight in the youtube when this ships over to youtube but it's great to see your comments snow fox says um it has to be six scu tops also it will have to be put on a ship to go anywhere to use a prospector says snow fox uh ross says he agrees that this is kind of like a wasted energy thing uh i yeah dude like i kind of feel like this is wasted unless there's like a bigger concept behind this um uh, Dark Angel says, I could see it maybe being used to ferry goods from a ship. Yeah, like, I, like this is a kind of neat idea. If I can fit this this into a larger ship, it would serve a little bit more of a role. Like, you know, we're fitting it inside like a Carrick. For instance, if we could fit like two or three of these inside the back end of a Carrick. Okay, now we're starting to get a little bit more productive. Now the brain, now the industrial kind of mindset's kicking in. But, like, I want it to be able to feed into another ship or even a big land-based ship, which would be cool. You know, like the little Jawas. You remember the little salvagers, the little Jawas? Which, by the way, I want to see a ship based that's a land-based vehicle for salvaging as well. But I would love to see it for mining, like like the the, like the little Jawas in Star Wars. Like get get something larger that this can feed into, and you got me on board. But right now, by itself, like I told Execute, this kind of fell a little flat. <laughs> you guys are speaking Jawa in the chat right now. <laughs> Oh, I missed you guys. It's good to be back. I love it. I love it. I wish I had more to talk about today. Anyhow, I'm going to ship this off to YouTube after this, and I want to hear people in the comments section down below what they think of this leak, um, and it's great, and I'm going to plug also uh, Star Citizen YouTube's uh, channel. I'll put it down in the link as well. Uh, they've they've provided my channel with a lot of leaks, and this was an interesting discussion. I, I liked it. Execute kind of kept it uh, very based upon like facts, you know? Um, like I said, uh, haters only 17 years old, which is amazing that he's 17 and he's killing it. Good for him. But it was nice to hear execute being a little bit older talking about like, okay, we see that it's an animation. Can you explain to us why it's animated? And we don't see like something a little bit more legit. Like, is this a legit leak? And then a hater explained why. So it was nice to see like execute kind of ground in the conversation to me, give it more legitimacy. And I'm glad to see execute being active on this channel, doing things. I think he's a wonderful moderator and I consider him a friend. So it's great to see that he's being involved with this channel with hater. And uh, I think it's a good move on haters part to bring execute into this channel. I hope to be appearing on this channel sometime as well and getting more involved in panels lately. So anyhow, Thanks for watching if you're watching on YouTube and then back to you guys here on Twitch Live. So let's talk something else. 